Bom, boa noite, eu sou o Ricardo. É um prazer estar aqui com vocês no Open Day do Mestrado Acadêmico e Doutorado em Administração da EBAP. É... O evento está sendo gravado, como eu já comentei com vocês, para que a gente possa, posteriormente, deixar disponível no portal da escola. Então, só um disclaimer fundamental, tudo que nós falarmos aqui, seja eu, o professor Ian, o Wallace e o Leonardo, representa a opinião pessoal de cada um de nós, não necessariamente representa a posição institucional da Fundação Estudo Vargas, tá ok? É... O detalhe é como o nosso programa é ministrado em inglês, eu, esse evento vai ser falado em inglês também, até para ter uma coerência, né? já que é o Open Day do programa que é em inglês, então o evento vai ser em inglês, mas, por favor, fiquem à vontade para elaborar perguntas em, em português, se assim desejarem. O é... que mais? Ah, sim. E em função da gravação, eu peço só que, ao, ao formular a pergunta, levanta o braço, eu levo o microfone aí rapidinho para ficar registrada a pergunta de vocês também, tá legal? Ian, Wallace e Leonardo, depois vão falar no microfone. Bom, então, uh, as I was saying, the program is in English, so this event will be speaking English, will speak in English today. I'm Ricardo, it's a pleasure to receive you all here at EBAP. I know that some of you are students, or there are former students, so even welcome for the first time or welcome back to EBAP. Um, I'm Ricardo, the program coordinator of the MSc PhD, and today I'm very happy that I will share the mic with Professor Young that will present some of his ideas and thoughts about his passion to Ebapi. Uh, and also uh, later on, we'll have uh, our brilliant students, uh, Wallace Santos and Daniel, Leonardo Dantes that will present the digital tools of modern researchers. So about the program pretty quickly. Uh, oh, uh, let me tell you, the presentation I'm making here, I, I shrink the presentation significantly to leave the floor to the keynote speakers for tonight. Uh, but this presentation is entirely available on the program website. So you can have further information about the program over there. Okay, I'm Ricardo, as I said, and the, I, I'm very happy that I work in the coordination with Daniele and Patricia over there. And we also have Pedro and Luisa that can help you if you have any question about the admission process, please, you can talk either to me, to Dani, Patricia, or to Pedro. About the program, we are talking about the PhD and the master program in administration at EBAP. Uh, our program is very well recognized. Uh, at CAPES at the highest grade with number seven, and we are credited by AACSB and Equis. And also NISPA, I didn't bring the logo of the other uh, accreditation office that accredits our program, but and we are very happy to have all these, uh, our credit uh, recognized by so many organiza relevant organizations. Now, specifically about the program, uh, we, when I say the program and talk about both the MSc and the PhD courses, uh, although they are most linked together, they have quite different purposes. The MSc aims to prepare students for the PhD. So our main focus is that our, the graduates from our master program will engage in a PhD as soon as they graduate from us or go to job market. And of course, we hope that our best master students keep at EBAPI studying with us, but we are very proud when our students, those that graduate from our program, master program, uh, start a PhD in a distinguished or institution either in Brazil or elsewhere as well. And the main purpose of our PhD is to prepare students for academic careers as research professors, or either working in Brazil at top universities or abroad or think tanks. 
uh, I prepared this slide some time ago, trying to explain four key reasons why uh, uh, a candidate would apply for our program. And mostly we organized these four pillars uh, based on the answers that we got from the applicants to our selection process. Uh, they used to say that they search and they want to study uh, at ABAPI due to our renew, uh, road renewed faculty, the quality and rigorous training that we offer, the inspiring academic experience, and not, not uh, top notch students that we have that are our student peers. Uh, talking very quickly about all these four pillars, yes, we, our faculty members, have relevant international experience either they are not Brazilian or they went since undergrad or the graduation abroad or postdoc or work at teaching or researching or in the market in other environments beside Brazil. Our research is indeed oriented for publication in international journals. And I can say that all of us also serve as uh, peer reviewers or editors of international journals and our productivity. I'm very proud that our faculty member is, I can say, the most productive regarding publication in top journals. Um, about the quality and rigorous training, this is the good news, the most important good news that I have, but as well, the one that scares most of the applicants to our program is that we are too demanding. We are too time demanding from our students. It's uh, the, the program is designed for students that dedicate full, fully, full time to the program. Uh, the program, as I said, is fully taught in English, uh, but this is the main concern that scares some of the applicants. And I will develop a little bit about this right now. Uh, the master program, uh, comprises 14 courses equivalent to 28 credits per the plus dissertation that goes up to 34 credits or 510 hours uh, that students might conclude and defend their dissertation but their master thesis within the first 20 first 21 month, months while the phd is a little bit longer 48 months longer uh, 17 courses equivalent to 36 credits plus the dissertation comes to 48 credits or 720 hours in classroom plus outside the classroom prepare yourself to attend to class and participate so students might take a certain amount of method courses either in the master or in the phd the structure is pretty much similar the main difference is that the amount of courses students might take if they are MSc or PhD students. So you shall take a certain amount of method courses. Then you select a research track on which you follow your studies here. We have four research tracks. I will present them in the following slide. And you shall take a, at least a certain number of courses from that specific research track that you choose plus other courses that might be from other research tracks, more method courses or course that you can take outside the BAP in other PhD programs or master programs, the graduate seminar and the supervised research seminar. Again, I will not spend so much time on, on details because I have another presentation already available on YouTube and the uh, program website. So you can go through that, all those details later on. But it's very, quite important to show you that our program is structured upon these four research tracks, institutional policy and government or, uh, coordinated by Professor Carlos Pereira, finance coordinated by Professor Lars Norden, behavior and decision science coordinated by Professor Ishan Graval and strategy management and organizations coordinated by Professor Olivier Betran. Uh, you have more information about the faculty members, the research tracks, and I do suggest you, if you are keen to apply to our program, either as a master or PhD student, I do suggest you go through the website, learn what these four research tracks means, 
I'm pretty sure you have a read uh, strong interest in one of those four tracks. Go deep in your uh, investigations about what we do. Take a look on the faculty members that work in the research track that you are most interested in, and then go through our research, uh, CV, our bio, uh, curriculum latch. So take a look on the type of research that we do, the type of research that we publish, and the type of research that we supervise that our students uh, present as a master or, or, the, uh, or uh, cert thesis or PhD dissertation. I do suggest that you do this in order to prepare yourself to make, first of all, make sure, is this the right program to you? Is this the program that you are really keen to study and spend 21 months or 48 months if you are applying for the PhD? Uh, double check that in order to, if you take a look on what we do, you could uh, reduce such information symmetry. Uh, and another very interesting information is that EBAP has some research uh, centers, and these four research centers are most related to the MSc and PhD. So we have the Center for Bank and Finance Research in Rio, for the Professor Lars, uh, Centro de Excelência e Inovação em Políticas Educacionais, uh, the Center for Behavioral Research in Rio, uh, in which Professor Jan is, uh, and Professor Rafael uh, work heavily there and the Applied Research Center in Accounting and Analytics that I coordinate. Uh, what's the relevance of presenting these research centers for you is that usually these research centers have some research projects that you can work together, you can join us in these research projects, and sometimes, most probably, the research projects uh, have some funding for scholarship for students uh, and then you can apply for that. Going back here, inspiring academic experience, we offer the graduate seminars with visiting professors every, every quarter, every semester, every time in the program. And we exhort our students to have an international experience in a doutorado sanduíche or uh, international experience during the master. Is usually time is so short for the master program, but if, possible, we would like to have our students, master students also have such experience. And top notch students, I will not speak much about these today because you see how top notch our students are when you see the presentations from Wallace and Leo. But I might say that our students are quite diversified, both geographically or, uh, and academically. Uh, but let's move. This is a very important information. Sometimes I hear some uh, people saying that, oh, they would like to come to do the master or PhD with us, but EBAPI is too expensive and they do not have money available to pay the tuition fee. Fake news, I'm sorry to say. The, the fact is always, uh, we don't charge any tuition fee at all. All students accepted for the master and PhD program will be exempted from any tuition fee or dues. So you have to pay nothing to study with us. It's for free, this program. You know, on the top of that, uh, we pay scholarships. So you don't pay any tuition fee and you receive a scholarship. The program of uh, student grants to students for their upkeeping based on student progress, performance, and full commitment studies under the program. So. Your investment is your time, your dedication, your commitment, your success, not your money. Additionally, we offer the opportunity to double your scholarship if you work in research as a research assistant or a teaching assistant in the program. So finally, about the selection process, tomorrow, is the deadline for the application for the first round. That's why I made that red there in August 3rd. So I hope that if you are really keen to apply, you go back home and straight away fulfill all the forms and, and complete your, your application till tomorrow. Uh, we will interview those that apply 
uh, during August, and the result shall be announced uh, by the end of the month, oh, even though classes will start only in January. Why do you do this? Because this is the first round of the selection process where we focus most on student on applicants that do not live in Rio, either are international students or live elsewhere in Brazil so they can have time to arrange an apartment, to move smoothly, to organize their lives, to study with us starting on January. Or they are, they work, they are most, in most cases, public servants, and they can have some time to get a leave from the uh, employers in time to start classes on January. But if you miss August 3rd, and that's tomorrow, the deadline for the first round, no worry. You can apply for the second round that will start the day after tomorrow and it goes up to December 1st and the structure is the same. So there is, I'm talking about one single cohort that we, uh, the 2024 cohort, which classes starts on January 8th. But we arrange this selection process in two rounds due to give time for international students and those that work to organize themselves either getting a leave from the employer or moving to Brazil, to Rio. And just a very brief explanation about the selection process, only two phases, the documental analysis, I won't read all of these, but these are the documents you shall upload until tomorrow, including uh, a standard test like Campage, for instance, and an English proficiency exam like TOEFL, Cambridge or whatever, all those, those that we accept plus all other documents. And if you are accepted in the first phase, we invite you for the interview. That is the second phase that I said for the first round will be on August 15, 17, something like that. Okay? If you have any question about the selection process, please feel free to send us an email, call us or either talk to Pedro, Patrice, Danny or myself later on, okay?